Taoiseach, pretty much with every week that goes by, uh, US President Donald Trump provides us with further evidence of the threat he represents to the world, to peace, to the environment, and to whole swathes of the world's population. So I'm just wondering, uh, I assume you're going to uh, meet Donald Trump uh, on Patrick's Day in the White House. Uh, personally, I would prefer that you didn't uh, and made it clear uh, why you won't. Uh, but I just wonder, uh, have you any thoughts about what you're going to say? Uh, I mean, if you just take two recent instances, in the last few days, Donald Trump has uh, indicated uh, that any discussion about Jerusalem uh, is off the table. He's not even willing to discuss what the whole world recognizes as a dangerous development, the recognition by his government of Jerusalem as the capital uh, of Israel with all the connotations and provocation that represents for the entire Middle East and he doesn't even want to discuss it now. He's saying it's off the negotiating table. He has also simultaneously ramped up further aid to Israel while reducing the overall US international aid budget by a third. He's increased funding to Israel by 200 million. A clear indication of what he's up to uh, and uh, that he's backing Israel in its aggressive and provocative uh, stance. And then in the last few days, another issue that you've spoken about, Scott Pruitt, the head of the Environmental Protection Agency, I mean, you just couldn't make this stuff up, has said in the last few days that global warming is actually a good thing, that it may be beneficial for humanity. Uh, Trump recently tweeted that they need more global warming in the United States. Right. Yeah. I mean, the guy is mad. And he's got mad people in his government, but the madness is Language. threatening, threatening the peace in the Middle East and the global environment. And I just wonder, you know, what, how are you going to make a statement against these sort of crazy Deputy. policies? Yeah, in relation to President Trump, um, no preparations or plans have been made, have been made with respect to a visit to Ireland by, by President Trump. No.